In 1996, Guatemala ended a 36-year civil war. During the long conflict, the infrastructure in most rural areas of the country was destroyed, especially in the remote area of Ishkan. NRECA International had long been working in Guatemala and saw firsthand the devastation to the power supply. Once the war ended, NRECA started helping the process of rebuilding and improving the electric distribution systems across the country. In 2008, the NRECA International Foundation, in partnership with the Georgia Cooperatives, sent the first crews of linemen to help in the region of Ishkan. The first project involved connecting two isolated villages to the national grid to bring electricity to the local population. One year later, many great changes have been made. Now that the people have reliable and affordable electricity, they have been improving their lives dramatically. It is a great honor and satisfaction to have worked with the volunteers that have come and continue coming from the U.S. They come and share with us their knowledge so that we can become better linemen. This helps us in our job and helps us serve our community better. For many years after the end of the war, we had been asking for electricity. We knew it was important for us to have power. When Emory was first established, there was a committee, which I was part of, that was fighting for electricity. Finally, we were successful and had lights for at least a few hours a day. With the help now of the Georgia volunteers, we now have power all the time, and we can continue to improve our lives. The people in Ishkan have always wanted a better life for themselves and their families. After the war, the local municipality established the Municipal Company for Rural Electrification, known in Spanish as EMRE, to help bring electricity to the area. Since it was established, EMRE began providing electric service in several villages. However, they lacked the resources to fully electrify all villages in its service territory, and many people only had a few hours of power a day. Emre needed help to continue bringing power to all its residents 24 hours a day, seven days a week. NRECA International Foundation and the Georgia Cooperatives answered the call. You come down here and experience turning the lights on to these people for the very first time, and it's something that I've never experienced before. The biggest thing to me was, you know, running the wire, setting the poles, that was all good stuff. But to me, at the ceremony, when we actually turned the lights on for the first time for these people, they had never been able to flip a light switch. I guess that's your footprint. That's what you get to leave here on Earth when you go. Electricity is vital for us. We are now able to provide health care 24 hours a day to the people of Ishkan and surrounding areas. We have been able to lower the rate of infant mortality. Before, we only could do surgeries when we had power. If we had an emergency, we could not help the mother and baby because we couldn't operate. Now we are able to perform C-sections at night and deliver babies that might be in distress, saving the mother's and baby's life. The reason I wanted to go to Guatemala was to the excitement of seeing people the first time they got electricity. The children don't have a lot of opportunities as far as the way they learn and the things they get to see. So. Us bringing electricity to their village is going to give them the opportunity to have computers in the schools and internet access to extend their learning way beyond what they have the capacity to do now. And knowing that gives me uh, the greatest, greatest feeling of accomplishment.